The second part, which is the final part, the last part, there are three priorities uh, that I will present quickly and I will ask your indulgence for five to 10 minutes at the end. The section is organized in this second part, remember is communion, mission and participation. The other one was for the synodal church. This one, what are the priorities in other words? Only that they were put in form of questions. Now, communion is defined. Communion is defined. Uh, is defined as uh, communion is a journey in which we are all called to grow until all of us come to the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of Christ to maturity to measure uh, to the measure of the full stage of Christ. So, the the focus here uh, when we talk about communion, of course, it starts with the Eucharist. Uh, that's the main point, really, that's expressed here. A communion that radiates, okay? So it's a, pre, it's a priority number one. So whenever we, 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 we're going to move forward as a synodal church, let's remember there's a priority. If at all, it's going to remain the same in, uh, in October because as, as the preamble warned us, none of, this, none, none, none of this is already decided that this is going to be the way. But these are some of the issues that come up. So uh, the next church, we're going to be talking about what are priorities. Number one, a communion that radiates, that radiates. Radiates beginning, of course, with uh, the Eucharist. Now, there are some questions that focus around uh, a communion that radiates, and those questions, you can see them there. Uh, they, they are found in the document itself, but the point I want to emphasize is that we are being invited as a matter of priority uh, in this journey, in this uh, prayerful process, to look at ourselves as a church 